Hi team, today we are going to discuss about the second part of cryptography which is called asymmetric encryption. Thanks for sharing amazing response on the symmetric encryption. So today we are going to discuss about asymmetric. In symmetric we are using a same key. So suppose this is the key we have. By this key we lock the box and the same key is used to unlock the box. So same key is basically used. Primary advantage of symmetric encryption it is faster. But problem is that if you are sending a data and the key on the same path, anyone can intercept the data and key on the same time. So it was a challenge. So we use out of band exchange where we send the key by SMS, OTP, by email, by call or the second approach we basically use is asymmetric encryption. In the asymmetric encryption, we have a two keys that is called key pair. Okay, so there is a one key which is a private key. And here we are taking a reference. This is basically my public key. So each user has a two keys. And it is not something, okay, same key used to encrypt and decrypt it. It's not like that. So let's take an example. Uh, we have this box. I am the sender. I am the sender, okay. This is the box. And I basically use this lock. So this lock is just like if you press, it get locked. Suppose I press that. Okay, and I basically lock this box with this lock, okay. So now the lock is basically in the box and I send it to the destination. Even if I send over the transit, no one can able to open this box. You know why? Because the key is with, with, with me only. So each user basically have a public key which is attached and we have a private key. Understood? So here what happen is if I as a sender use my public key to lock the box, I need to send the key also over the network then again back to zero. So that is why what happened asymmetric is primarily used for the key exchange because in asymmetric what happened one key used to encrypt and his associate key used to decrypt it is not something same key used to encrypt decrypt so let me tell you the case study so i am the sender and you are the receiver okay you want data so i will ask your public key okay send me your public key so you send me your public key which is like open lock let me open Okay, so this is basically a lock. This is the data I want to send. I lock this particular box with this lock and I send it to you. Because lock has given by you, it was unlocked. I use that lock to lock this box. This lock is a public key, which is your. When you receive this particular box, which is a data, you use the key to open the box. So here what happened? Public key you can share with anyone. Public key published. And private key is basically used to decrypt. That is why today to encrypting a data, we use session key. So as a sender, if I'm encrypting my data with my session key, session key is also called symmetric key. Then I will ask your public key to send me the public key. I will use your public key to encrypt my session key and then I send it to you. Then you, you basically use your private key to decrypt the session key and then from session key, you decrypt the data. And this is how your SSL also works. So summary is that symmetric use same key to encrypt and decrypt whereas asymmetric basically use two key to encrypt and decrypt the data. Do let me know how do you find this video. Next video will be on the hybrid encryption. Thank you so much. Good day. Bye.